Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books and it's Friday and if you haven't read this book, it's new to you. Now before I start on this one, I want to say two things. One, I'm really thrilled that you're reading Henry James and if you're not reading Henry James, I'm just thrilled that you're thinking about Henry James. That means a lot to me. The other thing that I want to tell you in the disclaimer category is some of you will have some issues with the books that I'm going to mention today. If you do, I'd like you to write a letter to Walt Disney Studios. Take it up with the cartoon people. I'm gonna talk about the books, okay? So, years ago, I was at a doctor's office in a waiting room, and when the nurse came to get me, she found me reading Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. And she said, how is that? And I said, it's great. I said, have you read it? And she said, well, I haven't read that version of it. And I said, no, it's only this version of it. And she said, no, no, no. There are lots and lots of different versions of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So the theme for today is books that you think you've read, but you've only seen the cartoons. This is a fabulous cartoon with Bugs Bunny. It's also a really amazingly good book. Here are some other books that you maybe think you've read, but chances are you never actually read. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Lewis Carroll. I read it again last week. I know that I read it when I was a kid. Didn't I read it when I was a kid? I could not believe how magnificent it was. Two years ago, I read Peter Pan. I know for the very first time. It's much, much better in book form than it is as a Broadway show or as a cartoon. You know what this book is about? It's about Wendy. It's about what a raw deal Wendy gets having to take care of all these kids. Really amazing. The Jungle Book, Rudyard Kipling. Yeah, I know, colonialism, still an amazing, amazing book about talking animals. The snake scenes, you'll never get over them. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Sure, Audrey Hepburn was great, but so is the book. Here's a really wild fact. I once interviewed Shirley MacLaine on stage in Nashville, and I asked her what was the role that she turned down that she maybe regretted. She said breakfast at Tiffany's. She had just finished making the children's hour, the Lillian Hellman play into a, into a movie with Audrey Hepburn and she couldn't do the part and so she recommended Audrey Hepburn for the part. But here's the wild thing. Shirley MacLaine would have been so much better at Breakfast at Tiffany's. The reason why Audrey Hepburn was brilliant as Holly Golightly, but she wasn't convincing as Lula May. Shirley MacLaine would have been brilliant as Holly Golightly and also convincing as Lula May. Think about it. Thanks.